Let's continue our discussion with nonlinear functions by looking at the x squared function. The squaring function is the guy that gives us our parabola. He's a super cool guy. Everybody likes him. He's always the first guy that you invite to your birthday party. Now, the basic shape that you have here is this parabola. Please keep in mind that it's a parabola. Its shape is parabolic. Now, this is the right way to do that. Not this. It does not curve back onto itself. Don't ever do that. Also, do not do this. Comes out, do not make him go vertical. If you make this guy go vertical, then he's not a function. Remember, functions have to pass the vertical line test, and this guy definitely would not. So, you graph like this. and you're going to get something like this back. So be careful. Well, since we know what the basic shape is for my x squared, I look at what's being done to the x squared to give me an idea of about where this guy's supposed to be. If I look at the end, just like we've seen with all the other nonlinear functions, this number out here outside of the squaring part tells you how to move up or down. So according to this, I'm going to move up six units. It's a positive six, so it only makes sense to go up six. What about the negative, though? Well, this negative here is what's going to make this guy go upside down. Okay, So, we're going to take our basic parabolic shape here. It's going to go up six units, and then we're going to turn it upside down. So, our vertex would normally be right here at the origin. But according to what I've done here, I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it up six units to be right here. I'm also going to be opening upside down, so I know my graph is going to be looking something kind of like this. But I want to make sure that we have nice, clear, accurate points. Since this is a parabola, it's a lot like the absolute value in that it's got this axis of symmetry running right through the vertex. So whatever I do on this side, I'm going to mirror that on the other side. Now, since we have the squaring function, we'll just follow the rule for squaring. If I go out one unit from the vertex, I would square that and I'd go down one. If I go out 2 from the vertex, remember it's from the vertex. 2 from the vertex squared is 4. 3 from the vertex is 9, so I'm going to go down 9. If I had gone over 4, I'd have to go down 16, but that's not really going to fit, so I'm pretty much done. Now I've got to look on the other side of this. Just mirror these points over. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is the 9. So we have nice clear points and we just need to sketch our graph here. Remember that this is a curve. It should be nice and smooth. It looks something like this. Now you know that it's not supposed to go over and touch this line yet because if it did you would have gotten that nice clear point by going over 4 and down 16. We're not quite there yet. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Remember, this does not curve back on itself. It does not go straight up and down, but has this nice curve to it. This guy is always going to get wider and wider and wider as you go down. Okay, And there you have it basic parabolic shape. It's been turned upside down and we've gone up six units.